Val, this crash has been devastating for this community, including the church parish I spoke to today, where the teenage victim and his family belong. The priest asking parishioners this morning to continue to pray for the 14 year old boy who was taken to the hospital yesterday in critical condition. It was a a gut reaction, just deep pain and sadness. That feeling of sadness rippled through the Hinsdale community Monday after a 14 year old was among five people seriously hurt when a car slammed into a sub shop. It was a scene that, yeah, I don't, it's, it's, it's hard, hard to explain. And I, I, I'm at a loss for words. I'm sorry. The owner of Fontano's Subs says surveillance video shows a Jeep coming out of Fuller's car wash across the street and crashing straight into the restaurant. Hinsdale authorities say five people were hurt. One customer was treated on the scene and released. Three others were taken to the hospital in serious condition. Family tell us one of those victims is a DePaul student who was with two of his friends and injured his leg. And the youngest victim, a 14 year old boy who the sub shop owner says ended up on the hood of the Jeep before falling under the vehicle. The teenager was flown to Comer Children's Hospital. There's just so many tragic circumstances around this. And, uh, you know, I know the family from our parish so well, I know the young man so well, just a great family. And uh, there's just a real deep sadness in the parish right now as we pray for him and their family. A very close community. Father Burke Masters says people gathered at St. Isaac Jogue's church once they heard what happened. Last night, you know, the texts were going around and uh, over 200 people gathered uh, at 7 o'clock for a rosary almost immediately just to rally around uh, the young man and his family. Everything else could be repaired and fixed and everything, but, you know, this little boy's life could be changed for forever. And Father asks people continue to pray and hold hope during tragedies like these. The driver of the vehicle was not injured during the crash, and right now it's unclear what charges, if any, they may now be facing. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.